the ink glides on the page. Um, it doesn't go through the page, it doesn't perforate the paper. I passed in front of a window with my mother and I was in awe in front of that beautiful fountain pen. Very expensive, of course, and um, my family didn't have much means at the time. Um, and my mom said something to the extent of, you know, take your ACT and if you succeed well, then we'll see. And well, little did I know, the day after we got rid the result of the baccalaureate, I got my beautiful fountain pen, my first collector fountain pen. Being an art historian, I really appreciate the idea that I'm using an instrument that was used by people before me and I'm kind of, I'm kind of continuing on something. Some pens were used so much that the nib had changed um, from the way that the previous person had written. So sometimes I would get a new pen and I would, a vintage pen, and I would have to figure out the right angle where the ink and the writing will flow best. And I think, oh, you used to hold this pen in that angle. Interesting. I like the commitment to ink. There's an elegance about it, and it's, it's almost like placing an exclamation mark everywhere. You have to you make a decision, you stand behind it. The actual action of making a line forces your hand to be very considerate of every little nuance, every little, and if I'm drawing, particularly a shape, like a convex or concave form, the slightest undulation in that form defines volume. So the, the pen actually allows me to slow down. Um, I don't buy jewelry, I buy fountain pens because it, I think if they are just a work of art. <laughs>